You know, I, I had to laugh at something. I, I got an inspiration for another video I just saw recently. And it was about this, um... It was about this girl... I don't know, this this brother... Trying to hook up with this girl, and she's all like... You know, nah, I ain't gonna be with you. You know, and he says, I'll pay you. And she goes, why didn't you say that? You know, and then it's like... I don't know, it got me thinking and stuff, you know what I mean? I mean, it's like, you know, okay, I used to, I used to hook up with hookers, right? And it's like, yeah, I know, I, I don't know, I just, you know what I mean? I, I admit it, I don't do it anymore, I, I, I got scared of that stuff, I had to, I had to swear off that hoochie, man. I was like, mmm, that's just too nasty. Uh, you know, I, I was like, oh my god, you know. Uh, but the thing was, was that, you know, the funniest thing I noticed, this girl was, well, she was doing a skit, right? But she was talking, in her video, she was talking about, you know, you know, this girl's like, oh, I'll hook up with you, you know, and stuff. And it's like, I noticed one thing. White girl hookers, black girl hookers, I don't know about Asian hookers because I think they all just freaking work in massage places and stuff, you know what I mean? Uh, but, um, but, you know, they, uh, they're not nice, you know what I mean? I mean, you walk up to them like, what you want? You know, and they're like, Oh yeah, it's going to cost you all this, and all that, and this for this thing, and that for that thing, and, and come on, I ain't got time, you know, it's like, damn, man, who wants to freaking mess with that, you know what I mean, but I hate to say it, but Mexican girls are the nicest hookers. I mean, they are. They're like, you like, you just walking along and you go, hey, what's up, mama? And she goes, that must poppy. What you doing? I don't know. Just looking to hook up somewhere. What you looking for? Oh, just a loving baby, you know. Oh, come on, I take care of you. And it's like, and they, say, you know, I, you're like, well, I'm kind of broke right now. I, I got a little bit in my pocket. Oh, that's a problem. You got ten, right? You know, it's like, yeah, I pick it up. Ten dollar Uchi Mamas. Yeah, you know. Fucking death wish, you know what I mean? But they're like, yeah, come on, let's go hang out. You know, and freaking kinds of fucking shit, you know. So, baby, let's get it on. I mean, there's no prices and this and that shit. It's just like freaking shit, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, okay. I was out of video ideas, and I'm just confessing, I, le I led a bad life in my 20s, and in my 30s, and not in my 40s, and I'm done, I'm done, you know, I just, you know, that's it, you know, but you know what's weird, freaking, that shit stays with you, because like, I walk down the street now, and I see a girl, and Sometimes she look at me and I get a high sign. I you can tell, you know. It's like it's like what else up, daddy? You look big and fat and probably have a few bugs. I'm like, hi, good seeing you again. I'm going to go home and freaking masturbate now. And I <laughs> thank you. You know, you want a couple bucks for fucking for your beer or whatever, you know. <laughs> I don't fuck with that shit no more. Well, because see, I, I used to, I used to live in um, another house, and it's like, it's like it was kind of a mad pad, and and there was all kinds of things going through there, you know. So it was like. Sex, drugs, and friggin' beatbox. 
So, you know, it, it just, that went with the territory, you know what I mean? Do you want goods, booty, or, or drugs? You know, I just, yeah, I'm a fucking scumball. I, I sobered up and realized, fuck shit, you know. <laughs> my house is tiny, my dogs are well fed, and friggin' I'm bored off my motherfucking ass. You know what I mean? Shh. But, you know, I just thought I'll tell you one thing. I, I enjoy every single day, even though I'm not religious or anything. Because, frankly, I'm just glad I'm alive. Oh my god, you know. And my one friend, roommate's friend, freaking, I still hear her freaking walk by every once in a while. Craziest broads you ever freaking met, man. Oh my god. I, I gotta get that picture to show you guys. It, it was, it was freaking loco hoochie mama town. I mean, I, I, I'll show you the picture right now. Alright. I'm out of here. Confessions of freaking the Mad Pad. I don't ever know if I'm going to say this shit again. Goodbye.